In this video, I will teach you how to pin and preserve a male giant prickly stick insect with the wings spread apart. The materials you will need for this guide includes a piece of styrofoam to pin the insect on. I actually found this piece of styrofoam on the side of the road and decided to recycle it. And here's what the local birds had to say about that. So I'm out here looking for a nice piece of styrofoam that I can use to pin insects. And I just got shot on by a bloody bird. You'll also need a deceased male stick insect, some long quilting pins, a couple of small pieces of styrofoam, and a couple of pieces of soft plastic. You can also use pieces of paper, but ideally you want something see-through so you can see the wings. You will also need some methylated spirits and a paintbrush. To begin with, start by placing a pin on each side of the stick insect's head to stabilise it. Now when you are pinning, it is important to remember that no pins should be going into the actual invertebrate, but rather around it. Once the head is stable, carefully stretch out the hind legs and put a pin on each side of the femur and tibia joint, making sure they are crossed over the top of the leg. Because we will be spreading out the wings, the pins must be pushed all the way down to enable the wings to lay flat. Two more pins should then be crossed over the tassels. Repeat this step for the remaining legs. Now we can move on to the antennae. The antennae are very fragile, so they must be handled with care. Basically, you just want the antennae to be pinned as straight as possible. Now that the antennae are pinned, we can now move on to the wings. Start by stretching out the wing and then placing a small bit of styrofoam underneath the very end of the stretched out wing. Then take your piece of plastic and place it over the wing and styrofoam. And then you pin the wing in place by pinning through the plastic and styrofoam, carefully avoiding going through the actual wing. Repeat this step for the second wing.
and that is the pinning complete. Now you can move on to the preserving. To preserve the insect, take your methylated spirits and gently paint a layer over the entire invertebrate. Methylated spirits helps keep the natural colour of the phasmid. Without it, your specimen may turn black. Once preserved, place your pinned insect somewhere safe to fully dry.